G'day viewers, Annie here again and welcome to my channel. This video is about how to research where to find gold nuggets. So one day you could be kicking back watching the news and there'll be news of a mining company's increased production of gold and their share prices. And you think, can you make use of this news to help you search for gold nuggets? Why? Because gold detectors may only go out to a place and hope to find gold, but gold prospectors research and learn geology and history of gold in locations that increase their chances of where they're more likely to find gold. In this case I use here, I heard Newcrest Mining's Cadia Valley is expected to produce 840,000 ounces of ore in 2020. My search comes up with an article by mining.com. In this article it talks about Saracen Minerals in Western Australia, Newmont's Tanami oper operations in the Northern Territory and Bardock's Gold project. So then I google search where Cadia Valley actually is and it comes up that it's in New South Wales just south of Orange. The green shaded area indicates a state forest nearby. Okay so it being located in New South Wales makes it more easier for me to travel there depending on coronavirus restrictions. My next step then is to search Newcrest Mining's annual return for the last financial year to find out additional information. What I'm looking for here is historical gold information and any geological maps showing the trend of gold, fault lines and the like. This snapshot shows that there's sheeted quartz vein systems that strike east-west and dip 75 degrees towards the north. This one talks about gold being discovered in Cadia Valley in 1851 and the geology within Cadia East deposit is hosted within forest reef volcanics and porphyry intrusions. For a bit more research, I search Google and I put in the search words images Cadia Valley. I then come across an image of a geology report and it's done by Porter Geo. And I've put a link to this in the about section of the video. The report shows fault lines in the area as well as the type of rock geology such as gabbro, diorite, feldspar rich volcanic sandstone. My next step then is to search Trove and I've done a previous video about how to find gold in Australia using Trove so view that for more details first. On Trove I search for Cadia Valley Gold Nuggets Prospector and am rewarded with some hits in the digitised newspapers dating back to 1887 about nuggets. Although looking at these newspaper reports it's not clear whether these nuggets were found deep below the surface which would mean it's out of reach of the gold detector. I also search trove under maps and uh, find a historical map of the counties of Wellington and Bathurst goldfields. I previously posted up a video on how to find gold in New South Wales and that includes the state forest mapping. In that presentation there are links to the historical state forest maps and here I've obtained the one for Canobolis State Forest. Although this historical map doesn't show the mining company's lease it does show symbols where mining took place and the diggings. So things are lining up for it being a possibility of a place to detect because it's surface gold nuggets which will be close to the detector. You've got state forest access with a permit 
and Katie Avalia is in the Fossicking districts. And if you could obtain permission from a landowner in the area outside the mining lease, you may have some success in finding gold nuggets. Well, viewers, that's the end of this video. For any updates, please subscribe to my channel.